how does ketosis affect like the metabolic rate and uh, like uh, maybe yeah like how do, how how does it speed up your metabolism or does it slow down it so how what, what what does it happen well i mean some of the people are proposing that the ketogenic diet is a you know there's a metabolic advantage to it and early thoughts were that you're losing energy in the form of ketones in urine which you are but i think it's negligible uh, but what you're doing, you know, people would not argue that you're definitely burning more fat, but you're also eating more fat, right? Uh, but I think the net amount of calories that you're burning are essentially the same. There might be a slight advantage with a ketogenic diet because you are losing uh, a bit more energy, you know, maybe in the urine through, you're losing beta hydroxybutyrate and, and acetoacetate in the urine. but even in someone in a heavy state of ketosis, it's only maybe 100 calories per day. I mean, it's still 100 calories. Up. But uh, I don't think there's any particular metabolic advantage from a calorie loss or fat loss perspective, uh, independent of calories, you know, if you compare it to a low-fat diet. I know this goes against what a lot of the people in the community may argue, but I just I think uh, – the benefit of a of a low carb or ketogenic strategy is that it prevents cravings that would typically result in the ingestion of surplus calories. So by being able to control your cravings uh, and basically having more control over your glycemic variability, that can translate to, from a behavioral perspective, of better uh, food selection, uh, meal size and preventing overeating that would translate to more surplus calories. So I think really that's the benefit of the ketogenic diet for people with type 2, two diabetes and also that want to use this strategy as a weight loss tool. And ketone supplementation may augment that by further stabilizing glycemic variability and also giving your brain ketones, keeping your brain happy. And if your ketones are elevated, it's the reduction, it's the perceived hypoglycemia that then triggers cravings for sugar. So you mm. can mitigate or greatly attenuate a lot of these cravings just by ensuring that your ketones are, are elevated. And I think the data is starting to, uh, these, this is something I've been saying for like 10 years, but I think now the data is starting to indicate, you know, not only from a, an energetic standpoint, but even by influencing things like ghrelin and, uh, and other neurotransmitter systems uh, and neurohormones, uh, it's working in that way too. Mm.